Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to cover um, the outboard um, water flushing procedure. Um, I couldn't find any videos um, <clears throat> on this. My manual says to use this Honda kit part number 06190-881-860 and I'll leave a link to this in the description. And it's basically a motor flushing system because these smaller outboards don't have any ability to put earmuffs on because the water take is actually on the bottom of the anti-cavitation plate. So there's a solid tube running here with a screen underneath and at the end of the video I'll zoom in on that but this is basically made to accept this rubber fitting that kind of looks like a pull start handle but it's actually the fitting that goes right on to the water jacket inlet. And in the parts in the kit in the bag, um, they basically come with a mounting clip and some brass hardware to hook to, or just a regular garden hose. So, go ahead and pull the rest of the pieces out, put this together. Um, wasn't intuitive. Um, I figured it had to go together some way, but <laughs> um, obviously the garden hose piece is probably the easiest. Um, the brass fitting. You know, the, the male end just slips inside the female end. And then you have your standard garden hose fitting. There's a little rubber gasket supplied with the kit. And this does um, disassemble pretty easy um, to break it down. And then next you just want to slip this um, clip over the rubber um, water jacket inlet adapter and then feed the brass barbed end into the rubber. Now I think I'm going to maybe keep this intact or disassemble. You don't have to actually force it in there very hard. Two barbs are in. The water, once you hook up the hose, it'll be sealed. And essentially all that happens next, I'll try to keep my hands out of the way, is you just feed the clip into the jacket, opening, slide that fitting on, and then now it's all set to go. Now, I'll see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. And then you can tilt it to the side just enough, um, and this will allow enough space to run a garden hose. Um, out the side here and it'll clear as long as you don't put it in gear and then and then hit it it should be fine the manual does recommend you take the prop off um, it is not difficult it's a cotter pin these plastic nuts are basically usually just finger tight use this a pin drive <clears throat> not a spline drive um, propeller shaft so it does come off pretty easily um, but I think I can get and not make the mistake of hooking up or putting it in gear and getting that out. And then I'll just quickly just disassemble it. it. Comes off with a breeze. And again, that's the assembly completely intact. And then I'm going to try to avoid as much camera shake as I can, but just show you. Here's the water inlet. So it is kind of offset onto one side. Um, and the motion of the propeller is basically driving water in there as you're moving forward. And again, that allows this unit to be a little bit offset. And that's it. There you have it. The water flush mounting kit for an 8 horsepower Honda outboard. Thanks for watching.